What up, YouTube? Your boy Hillsborough34. Um, posting my video kind of late, man. It's been a long and busy week. Um, just kind of been sitting back, um, thinking about things. Um, you know, Bucks well not like our third coach since Gruden. Um, we had we haven't really been relevant um, in a while, man, and. Um, we can't seem to find that franchise quarterback that we need to boost our franchise. So, you know, T Money said I don't really make videos. Um, so, I just didn't know what to come on here and say. Other than that, man, this is a new year. Bucks got a brand new coach, Lovey Smith. We got the brand new GM, Jason Light. We got the brand new uniforms, and we taking on y'all Panthers at Raymond James come week one. And like I said in my video, I posted a video um, for the Panthers a couple days ago, but I wanted to come back and redo it because I think we're going to win this game. I think we're going to win this game. Um, we got the depth chart set. Um, I wanted to see how that was going to line up. Um, three things that stood out to me um, is uh, Safarian Jenkins is the number two tight end. Um, Mike Jenkins is slotted as the number two corner. I don't know if this depth chart is official. We got the O line set. We got um at a uh, right tackle. We got Dotson at right guard. We got Omame um, at center. Dietrich Smith at left guard. Mankins at left tackle. Anthony Collins and we have the new kicker Patrick Murray. Um, we released Connor Barth. Um, I think he was due two to three mil. Um, I don't really know if we release him due to salary cap reasons, but he's off the team. We got Patrick Murray, so we're going to run with him. Um, lucky number seven, who apparently can drive the ball further. But I'm going to try to keep this video short. Um, like I said, I think we can win this game. Um, shout out to your boy, Ed Boogie. Um, we got that bet. I ain't doubting you, man. Um, we got that push-up bet. I can't remember. I know you said something about times it by 10, by how much, how many points that we lose by, something like that. So, I don't know. I just think it'll be interesting to see you do push-ups, man. I ain't doubting you or nothing, but I'm looking forward to this day. Um, so, what else? Man, I think that's it, man. I ain't even going to keep y'all boys long. I'm going to go ahead and check on out of here. And um, I'll see y'all on the live Google Hangout. Oh, nine, six. But with that being said, man, that's all I got to say, man. I think we're going to win this game. I think we're going to win this game. I'm not, uh, he said we're going to lose by 10. It's going to be a defensive battle. Um, whether it be, uh, how long is this video? Let me go ahead and end this video. But whether it be Cam Newton or Derek Anderson, I think we're going to win this game. It's going to be defense. We may have to play a little buck ball. And buck ball is basically not committing any turnovers, uh, keeping a good field position for the defense, letting the defense um, handle business, and just not committing any turnovers, um, making all your uh, kicks, and not uh, putting the defense on the short field. And uh, don't sleep on that cover, too. Y'all been watching the uh, backups. The backups... They don't have that cover two down yet, but the starters, they can handle that cover two. They can play it. Mason Foster was still trying to figure out if he can um, run the middle linebacker. He could run that position um, the way it's supposed to be, which he, you know, he's gonna have to cover a lot. I can see Jimmy Graham giving him a problem in the future, but you know, we are still trying to see if Mason Foster, he looked good in the preseason, but over the long haul, we're still wondering and waiting to see if he can handle that uh, middle linebacker position in that cover two defense. So let me go ahead and shut this video out. Um, off on that, but um, T Money, man, lately you've been real worried about um those packages that I sent to um Real Talk Perez, man. You keep commenting and talking about I'm the financial backer. Of real talk Perez man don't you know season ticket holders get all that stuff for free let me show you something man look at all 
this stuff, man. This season ticket stuff, man. Ain't no finances involved. But you real worried about what I send to him, so maybe um maybe you want me to send you something. Maybe you want me to buy you a Panthers hat. Maybe that's what it is. You really worried about Real Talk Perez because you want me to buy you a hat? Just let me know, man. Or stop commenting on it. But with that being said, let me, let me show you what a real hat looks like. This is the official unboxing of the Hillsboro 34 hat. Pull this thing out of the package for you. Never been worn. Just some wrap. Got the Hillsboro 34 on there. Got the flag. Got my man's logo that did it for me. Got the 34 on the back with his tag. And then got the bucks on the bottom. So, um, I ain't gonna wear this hat yet. I'll probably wear it in my next vid. But yeah, man, I had to get this done. I think AK Brown gave me this idea a while back. He said um, something about getting a uh, Hillsborough 34 jersey. But I don't really like jerseys. I can get more bang for my buck with hats. You know, I can spend $100 and walk out with four hats. So, with that being said, that's my video, man. We gonna win this game. Um, 